Now let's see what we can do. Hey, welcome back guys. If you're new here, my name is Lewis and today's video is going to be one that a lot of you have been waiting for and it's the official install and review of the PRL high volume intake specifically designed for the 11th gen Honda Civics and now the fifth generation Acura Integra. So today's video could not be possible without PRL. So big shout out to them for sponsoring this video and sending me their pre-production intake for me to install and review for you guys. Uh, I honestly couldn't do a lot of these videos without their help. So big thanks to PRL and I hope I can keep making these videos for you guys because I know you enjoy them and I have nothing but great feedback. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out this intake. Okay, so here we have the high volume inlet box and it's made out of a thermal plastic to help reduce heat soaking. And then down here we have the ability to add a secondary inlet if that's something that you wanted to do in the future. And here's the nice PRL logo stamped right there. And that's pretty much it for the inlet box. Next we have the high volume inlet duct and this is just for maximum airflow. Pretty nice piece. Right here we have the mass airflow housing and this was specifically designed so that way you can run this intake without having to get a tune and perfectly safe for your engine so you don't have to worry about installing this and having to go get a tune. It comes with this step silicone hose so that way it reduces turbulence and yeah everything else is just hardware. Uh, it comes with all the hardware necessary to make this a complete kit and an easy install. So let's go ahead and install it. Okay, so first thing we're gonna wanna do is just remove the old inlet box and inlet hose. And it's super easy. Once we do that, we can go ahead and start installing the new air box and it shouldn't take very long at all. Let's go ahead and begin by removing these two 10 millimeter bolts, this plastic rivet, and this 10 millimeter bolt right here. And this should free up this inlet portion of the intake. To remove the plastic rivet, all you really need is a flathead. Uh, I do recommend for you to have some extra ones just in case. If you do break one of these plastic rivets, it's okay. PRL's kit does come with some plastic rivets and it always helps for you to have some extra. So if you need some, I put a link down in the description box below. Next, let's go ahead and take off the bolts. These three are 10 millimeter bolts. Next, we can go ahead and remove these two 10 millimeter bolts right there. That should free this portion of the intake off. So this is a, a bracket that holds this part of the intake on and it has this little rubber grommet. Next, we're gonna wanna go ahead and remove the mass airflow sensor. Now, these are just Phillips head screws. They're really tiny and they're not captive, so be very careful not to drop them. Go ahead and set the mass airflow sensor off to the side so you don't damage it. So now we can go ahead and remove the inlet hose along with the top of the air box. And for these two clamps, it's just a 730 seconds, at least that's what I'm using as a 730 second socket. And yeah. Once we loosen that, I'm gonna go ahead and suggest that you unclip the top of the air box, then take it off, and then it comes off just like that. So this is it, the PRL aftermarket uh, filter. So if you don't have this one, don't worry, yours is probably gonna look like a uh, regular white paper filter. So don't worry about that if yours is different. Next, we can see that the bottom of the half is pretty much loose. All we have to do is just remove one 10 millimeter bolt that's down here in this corner and I'll go ahead and show you that. So right there, this is the bolt that I'm referring to. We can go ahead and take that off.
Okay, so once we remove this bolt, we can go ahead and start removing the lower half of the air box. It's currently held in by just one rubber grommet right there that helps secure the lower half in place. And all we gotta do is just pull up and then it'll pop right out. And just like that, the lower half of the air box is out. So if you notice, I do have a PRL resonator delete kit on the air box. Yours might have like one extra component right there, but don't worry about it. Um, I'm just making it clear that I do have an aftermarket uh, resonator delete on the stock air box in case you're wondering why mine looks different. Okay, now that we have the old intake removed, we can go ahead and start prepping the new intake. So right here we have a PRL provided bracket and two Allen key bolts. Uh, this is all part of the kit. What's not a part of the kit is this bushing right here and this uh, spacer and fastener and washer. This is from the stock intake, so you're gonna wanna remove this from the lower half of the stock intake and put it here on this new one. Next, we can go ahead and talk about this upper bracket. So this upper bracket, once again, this is pre-production, so it's not final. This is not what you're gonna get. You're gonna get a bracket similar to this, but more than likely it's gonna have a a nut that's a part of the actual bracket itself. And then this is a 3D printed spacer and this spacer is gonna be used for this upper grommet right here that I went ahead and pre-installed. It's pretty easy, so that way once we have this bracket installed, this grommet will just set right into place. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for the air box side of things. Next, we can go ahead and get the uh, MAF housing ready. So I went ahead, I installed the MAF sensor and I used the two Phillips head screws that were stock to the original intake. And then I went ahead and threw on the PRL provided air filter with the clamp and that's it. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and put this together outside of the car, me personally. I think it's gonna make my life a lot easier having this pre-installed. And all it is, is just getting these three PRL provided Allen keys, or three PRL provided Allen key bolts, and then just go ahead and fasten this down. And once we have it fastened down, we can go ahead and start installing it. All right, and that's it. Now that we have the mass airflow sensor installed, the MAF housing installed with the air filter, and this lower bracket installed with this rubber grommet or bushing installed, we can go ahead and throw on this upper bracket first, and then we'll go ahead and slide in the new intake. So we have the old intake removed, and what I wanna point out is that we're, once again, we're gonna reuse the lower half rubber grommet and spacer with the fastener and washer. So the other part that we're gonna be using is this stock rubber grommet right here. That's where the back half, the back hole is gonna slide into and that's what's gonna help support the intake. And now we're gonna go ahead and install this bracket with this spacer and uh, bolt and nut so that way it's nice and secure and we're gonna reuse the two stock 10 millimeter bolts that we had on the previous bracket and once we fasten this down we can go ahead and slide the new intake in Okay, so I personally think that having the silicone hose pre-attached to the intake is gonna make sliding this in a lot easier. So go ahead, go ahead and slide this on and make sure your two uh, 
clamps are already slid through so that way you know you don't have to take it out and redo it and then once we have that we can go ahead and start maneuvering manipulating this silicone hose and it should slide in just like that Now we got it set into place. And then there we go. This piece slid in. That's in there. That's in there. You can go ahead and connect up the connector for the MAF housing or the MAF sensor. And now we have to fasten down the fastener that's down here. Now we can go ahead and fasten down the fastener down here once you get it lined up with the hole. I do recommend that you start by hand tightening it first. Okay, so once you have it hand tight, go ahead and finish securing it down. All right, that's not going nowhere. Okay. Now we can go ahead and fasten down the two clamps. Make sure it's nice and secure, exactly where you want it to be. I'm using a seven mil to secure these down. Okay, make sure they're not too tight. You don't wanna crack the, any of the plastic up here. Okay, so these are nice and snug. All right, so now the actual intake itself is installed. We can go ahead and connect up the MAF sensor. Once that's cooked up, we can go ahead and install the ducting. So installing this is pretty easy. It sets right into place. We're gonna, PRL provides you with these rubber, or sorry, plastic rivets. Just set them into place, pop them in. in and there we go so those are installed next you're going to take your stock 10 millimeter bolts that went right here they're the black ones go ahead and tighten them down and tighten this one down and then we can go ahead and zap them in. And that's it guys, we're done. The intake's fully installed, super easy. Probably will take you maybe half an hour to do this entire job, if that. So, yep, yeah, that's it. Now let's go ahead and see what it sounds like and take it out for a drive. All right, well, there you have it. There's the install of the PRL high volume intake. Now, uh, I went ahead and inserted some sound clips of me revving the car just stationary so you can hear what it sounds like. And then all that's really left to do is for us to go out for a drive and see how it feels and it sounds out in the road. Now, one note is it's not gonna be nearly as loud as the Cobra Cold Air intake because the Cobra Cold Air intake kind of just sat in the bottom of the car and it wasn't enclosed whatsoever. So, with the high volume intake it's inside of a thermoplastic box to prevent heat soak so it kind of dampens the sound a little bit and yeah naturally you're not going to hear as much of it in the cabin it is still decently louder than stock but it's not going to be as loud as a cobra but i mean it it, it really is up to you what you want to do if you want to go the cobra cobra cola their air intake route or the you know actually made for the 11th gen and fifth generation uh, Civic, uh, well, 
11th generation Civic, 5th generation Acura Integra. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and keep the one that was made for this car because I don't want any rubbing issues with my charge pipes. And yeah, it just looks really nice in the engine bay. Personally, I think it looks clean. So let's go ahead, let's go out for a drive so you guys can hear what it sounds like inside the car. And then, yeah, uh, we'll leave it to that and let's go. Here we are in the first drive with the PRL high volume intake. Now, I can definitely still hear the induction noises that the intake makes. Uh, it's not, like I said earlier, it's not gonna be nearly as loud as the one that the Cobra cold air intake made, only because, well, the Cobra cold air intake wasn't inside, uh, it, it wasn't enclosed into a high volume air box. So with this one being enclosed, you can't hear it as much inside the cabin as you can outside the cabin. So just something to keep in mind, Even, although it is still pretty loud. So don't think that it's not gonna be, you're not gonna be able to hear anything. You can definitely hear it. Here's a pull. So you can definitely still hear it. And yeah, the car pulls really nice. The turbo spools real fast. I mean, I can drop it to third, and then it shoots up to 18 PSI like nothing. So, let's just try and go to, like a uh, Super WRX fan once said, let's to go in this back road over here and see if we can have some fun. All right, we made it. Now let's see what we can do. as loud as the Cobra. I also, I don't know if you can hear that, but I definitely need some aftermarket tires and some better wheels because these all seasons are not doing it. Not even close. So, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe. Everything that you've seen in the video today, that it's not really much uh, the, as far as like stuff that I really used, uh, just the, and if you want extra um, 
plastic rivets uh, that's going to be linked down in the description box below. Uh, all my affiliate links are going to be linked down in the description box below. Thank you for using them. Thank you for continuing to support the channel. For Thanks for coming back. If you're new here, please consider liking and subscribing. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Hopefully, we can keep doing videos like this and I can keep working with awesome companies like PRL. So big shout out to PRL for making this happen and letting me install their pre-production intake. So remember guys, this it was pre-production. So some of the things that you saw in this video, you might not see when you get yours. So once again, thank you and I'll see you next time.